Well, this is a, an exhibition uh, which is only possible in Basel because we collected all the Picasso works that are in Basel collections. Um, that means we have our own collection in the Kunstmuseum Basel. We went to take all the paintings and drawings and sculptures from the Fondation Bayeller. They were happy to lend them to us. And then we went to find all the private collections here in Basel and put them together. And uh, the result is that we have a full retrospective. We start with very early works um, from 1901, when the artist was only 20 years old and we go all the way to 1971 when the artist was 80, which means we cover 70 years of his uh, career and we cover different techniques from drawings to prints, paintings and sculptures and that gives the visitor a full uh, picture of, of Picasso. Basel has a very special uh, relationship to Picasso. It started in 1917 with collectors who began to buy works from him and brought them to Basel. Um, but in 1967 there was a special event because there was a family trust called Stechelin and they lent two important paintings to the Kunstmuseum Basel, uh, the two brothers and uh, Harlequin. And uh, the problem was that this family lost a lot of money because uh, an airplane crashed and the insurance wasn't good enough. And so they were forced to sell these paintings. Uh, but gladly the citizens of Basel and the politicians re reacted and uh, the government first uh, was ready to spend six million Swiss francs to save these paintings for Basel. Um, but there was a referendum so the citizens had to vote. Uh, but in the end they voted to spend all this money, this public money. But in addition to the six millions, the citizens had to collect 2.4 million Swiss francs by themselves, which meant that the, uh, the children, the students, the artists, everyone in Basel started to collect money. They painted uh, images on the streets to, to uh, gather money. And in the end there were 2.4 million dollars and we had a whole sum to buy these two paintings. Um, but then, that was not the end of the story. Um, Picasso learned about it, our director called him, and he was so moved that the citizens of a whole city were so active to save paintings uh, from being sold to the US uh, instead of remaining in Basel, that um, he invited our director to come and see him in Mougins in the south of France, and there he offered him to choose some paintings. And he came back with three paintings and a huge drawing, um, which is an important one because it's related to the Demoiselle d'Avignon uh, at MoMA in New York. And so the collection grew even bigger in one year. And that was a very important uh, phase for uh, the city to grow even closer to Picasso. So this is a love story that has uh, not uh, ended yet. And we continue to cherish this tradition with this exhibition.